Okay, we're moving along fantastically here, and I just want to take this opportunity to make it absolutely clear that this course is all about building out a fantastic, profitable business, one that you can be proud of, one that could supplement your income, or maybe even replace your job all together. Now, what I'm not doing is showing you how to build the most beautiful Shopify store ever, all right? I'm giving you all the tools. I hope you can see that as this is starting to develop, each lecture has great content that you can act on, all right? But I'm leaving a lot of that up to you. Having given you the tools for the job, I want you to run with it. I want you to realize how simple and how powerful this can be and how you can really, really use it to build out something fantastic. So with that in mind, you know, we've looked at creating some pages. We've also looked at the logo and we've looked at some images. And I really hope that you've acted on that and you're starting to feel more and more comfortable and hopefully getting more and more excited about how this could potentially change your life. Now, the next thing I want to show you on Shopify are the themes. So let's go down to the online store. And by default, we get the themes page. Now, the themes are the shop window to the store. They really are the kind of the window dressing. That's how I like to look at it. So if we go back to the site here, we see this image with text overlay and this gray thing here, which corresponds with this. OK, we're talking about the debut theme and the debut theme is the theme that comes with Shopify by default. OK, it's a simple theme. It's very powerful. And what it does allow me to do is to demonstrate to you how themes work. Now, I'm going to show you how this debut theme works and how you can customize the store as it currently looks. And with that knowledge, the good news is that most themes have a very, very similar pattern to the way they behave. So once you've got this debut theme idea under your belt, you'll be able to run with it and use all kinds of other cool themes to really, really personalize and customize your store. And I'll talk about that a little bit in the next lecture. But right now, I want to focus on this debut theme. So in order to make changes to the way this looks, all we need to do is click on customize. And you see straight away that the entire presentation has changed. All right. What we've got over here is a different menu on the left hand side. And this part over here is actually a live preview of my site. So this is very, very cool. I can make changes over here, which you'll see in a moment. And I'll see exactly how they affect the store over here instantly. So let's have a bit of fun and play around with this and see what we can actually do. Again, I want you to feel really, really comfortable with this. I don't think it's going to take that long. So if we go to the header, for example, and here you will see that we can upload a logo image okay, to replace this thing here. So very, very simple. All we've got to do is select an image, basically upload it if there's nothing there, which will be the case. Take your image. This is the one that I created very, very quickly <laughs> over on Canva before. OK, I repeat myself is definitely not the best logo of all time, but I want to show you how to do this uh, rather than the most beautiful logo ever. But there you go. You can see straight away that having selected a logo, it appears instantly on the right hand side. OK, so Tim's Super Deals replaces that plain text that I had before. So if I click on select, I can also basically make some changes here. I can make this thing a little bit wider if I wanted to. So let's say I want to make it a bit bigger, go up to 200. I get an instant change. Maybe that looks a bit better now that it's bigger. Um, you know, and I can align it left or centered however I want it. But I'm, let's say, pretty happy with that at the moment. So having got that all right, let's go back. And now I want to show you how easy it is to change this text here. So here we just go to this bit here where it says image with text overlay. And as you scroll down, you can see that I can select an image, which we'll look at in a moment. But here we see the actual text itself. So if I change this to read something like uh, come and visit our store. OK, that's not the greatest uh, headline ever, but I'm sure you can see straight away how simple that was to do. And then maybe what I want to do now is change this subheading here. Now, at this point, I want to start introducing something I promised right at the beginning of the course where I said I'd show you some of the things that work for me and things that work for me in the past very well are the dog jewelry business. Now, it's not jewelry for dogs. It's actually jewelry for people 
who own dogs, okay? So just a small niche, you know, you might be wanting to build out a general store or a niche store, whatever it might be, but I'm gonna use that as a kind of an ongoing example through this as we build out my particular store. And you'll see that the products that I use later on will also be in that niche. But of course, entirely up to you how you're going to build out your particular business. So let me put in some text here that would be relevant to that niche. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna put in this text here. Explore our fantastic collection of dog jewelry products. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here a little bit and I wanna create a button, all right? So here, in this button label, I'm gonna type in here, discover, excuse me, discover more, dot, dot, dot. And then the button link itself, I will just link to the products page, all products at the moment, okay? Something like that. So you can see, I mean, how long was that? I probably spent about a minute, if not less, uh, where I've changed the main title to come and visit our store. I've now got a nice little subheading here, explore our fantastic collection of dog jewelry products and a discover more button. Now I went through that fairly quickly, we'll come back to this. But the idea is that this is in fact, a very good design for a store because you're saying exactly what it's all about in the beginning and you're drawing them in to your collection, okay? With the discover more button, it basically pulls somebody into the store. So I encourage you to use that design, okay? That's your takeaway if you like. Obviously you're gonna put your own spin on it depending on exactly how you're building out your store. But try to have that heading, that kind of subheading, and then a button that pulls them into the store. Now, let's not forget to save, of course. And just to be absolutely sure that it's actually really happening on our site, if we go back here and refresh, then here you see the logo and all the bits and pieces that we've just been talking about. So now let's try and put a nice image behind all this to really start to give it a professional feel. So back to the customized theme page and still in this come and visit our store section, what I'm gonna do here is click on this select image. And I'm gonna upload an image that I got from iStock Photo in fact. So this one here, and it's basically just an image of a woman cuddling a dog, which I rather like. Now I've pulled that in, now you can see instantly that it's available on the site and all I've really got to do now is just select that now I can play around again a little bit with these uh, various options, but I'm pretty happy with that now. That will do for the time being. So I'm gonna click on save. Let's just refresh the site again, just to be sure. So there's the image coming in. So you can really see within a few minutes, I've gone from a completely blank homepage to something that looks really, really cool. And I've used no technical skills at all. It's all point and click, just as I promised you. So I really, really hope you're getting excited here. Now, just to finish off, I wanna show you where those images are actually stored within your Shopify backend. So back to the come and visit our store section, come out of here and then click on this Shopify logo to bring you back to the original admin. Now you can see all of this has changed as well. And if I go down to the settings, we have a section here called files. If I click on files, all those files that you've uploaded, in my case, just a couple of images, they're held here. So if you ever wanted to delete them, modify them, or indeed upload files directly to this area, you can, okay? So that's just another part of the settings that I wanted to make you aware of. But otherwise, we have made leaps and bounds in this lecture towards creating a fantastic looking store. So I really, again, encourage you to go back and do all this stuff for yourself. Build out what I've done. You've seen how simple and powerful Shopify is. So we've been playing around with the debut theme, just one theme, but there are hundreds, maybe thousands of themes out there that you can use. So I just wanna make you aware of all that and we're gonna talk about that in the next lecture.